Hi, my name's Lee Edwards from ACR Systems. Today I'm going to show you the differences in upgrading to SwiftBoss Touch from your Quest solution. Okay, so first things first, let's start with how to open a new table. Boss. There are two ways to open a table in SwiftBoss. First way is to select the table number that you want to you, you want to open. In this case, we'll uh, choose table 19. I'll hit table charge. The system then brings up an optional pop-up prompt box. In this box we can specify how many covers are on the table, we can set it as an open limit, so a standard table, a prepaid limit, this is where a customer puts a prepaid amount on the table. When the system gets that prepaid limit it will stop unless some more funds are added. We can also do a preset limit. With a preset limit we can choose an amount that we are comfortable for the table to go up to before the table stops. We can also add in contact details for the table. So this will be the Williams party. With tables we can also specify the products that we want the to restrict that table to. So if we're having a function come in and they want to use housewives, house bears in a restricted menu, we can set the system so that only those items can be attributed to that table. So let's save the table. The table has now been saved. If we want to bring on some items to the table now, we can do so. As you'll see, it shows us it's table 19, Williams, with four covers. So ring on the items, and to save that table, we hit table. The other way that we can start a new table is we simply just go into the system, and we ring on the items that we want to put onto that table. We then choose the table that we want to assign them to, 20, table. This shows us that this is a new table that has never been opened before, so we click yes, that we acknowledge that, and again up comes that prompt box which we can then start to complete the details of the table. I'll show you how to do a table split on SwiftPost Touch. This is one of the most common requests that we get from our Quest users, so let's get started. Splitting bills in SwiftPost is fantastically easy. All you have to do is hit the split bill button which is located here. I hit the split bill button, I'm presented with all the tables that are currently open. I'm also presented with the details of the party. So in this instance, it's Mr. DMO who wants to split his bill three ways. So I hit the table, it now brings up the table in the split bill screen. So to simply split this bill, I select the items that are going to go to each seat number. So Stella will go to seat one, Heineken to seat two, Max Black goes to seat 3 and the Pepper Jack Shiraz, we're going to item split that three ways. Hit 3, enter. The system automatically splits their item out evenly over the seats. Wedges is going to go to seat number 4. Now you notice I've got a blue arrow. This arrow enables me to continue the splitting as many ways as we need to. That ensures that we don't have any people at the end of the bill who are sitting in the restaurant last and you haven't in the bill and there are deep there are items on the table that haven't been paid for. Now the bar platter, this is going to be split four ways. Okay, so we have four seats in the in the table and we want to pay for seat one. So we highlight seat one by hitting the bar at the top and we hit return or OK. That now presents that sale in the sales screen with a $25.33 balance. We're going to pay for that with cash, we'll hit the $50 tender button. The system automatically bounces us back into the table split window. Now in this instance, seat 2 has nominated that they are going to pay for seat 4 as well. So we hit the bar on seat 2 and we hit the bar on seat 4. We hit OK and you'll see in the sales screen window that it actually has all the items from both the seats. And it shows us which items are associated to which seats. The balance is $42.23, we're going to pay with cash again, we bounce back into the sales screen, we're now going to finish off to seat number 3, OK, and we're going to pay with a $100 bill. And splitting a bill in SwiftPost is as easy as that. So fantastic, we've shown you how to split bills in SwiftPost and it's dead easy. Next we're going to show you how to split a balance. This is a very common request from our Quest customers who often have to pull out the calculator. So, let's begin. Splitting a balance in SwiftBoss again is a piece of cake. All we do is we hit the split balance key. It will ask us which table do we want to split the balance on. We're going to split the Mr. TGI. The boys have had a few drinks 
and they now want to split the bill evenly three ways. So the system asks us how many ways we want to split the bill. Three, enter. It automatically splits the bill and shows us that we have $19.33 balance due for the first patron and there is a balance remaining of $58. So we hit $20, pay. Is there another payment to be made now? Yes, they're all going home. Yes. The next bill comes up, $19.32 with a balance of $38.65. We pay for that with the $50 note. Is there another payment to be made now? So we can either say yes or no. If we say no, the patron can continue drinking on that table. In this case, we're going to say yes. Okay, $19.35, balance of $19.35. We're going to pay with $100 cash. And that is as simple as it is to split a balance in Swift Plus. Great, so now we've got table splitting and splitting balances out of the way. We can now show you how Swift Plus handles floor plans. Floor plan displays. We can set the floor plans to display automatically so we can force the operators to run your restaurant from the floor plan. All floor plans can be a manual one hit key. So in this case I've got a floor plan display button here. If I hit the floor plan display button I'm presented with the floor plan. The different colours on the tables represent that the, the white or light blue is an empty table, the yellow means that the table has ordered and the green means that the table has been issued a guest bill. So Operators know not to send items to that table uh, without checking with the major D. All right, so let's uh, let's open um, a table. So if we open up table 17. Simply hit on the table, and we present with the options. So we've got the option to go back into the table info screen and edit any changes. Let's say another cover came onto the, the table, so we're going to change it to four. Right. We've got the ability to open the table and bring on more items to that table. Okay. We also have the option to, from here to split the bill, split the balance or print a guest bill. We can also from the table, uh, from the floor plan window, call items away. So we are ready to call away the tapas. Okay, so that will now go and print into the kitchen. With the tables table floor plan as well. We can easily merge tables by simply dragging two tables together. Would you like to join table 4 with table 8? Yes. They have been successfully joined. Okay. Purple indicates that those two tables have been linked together. So the floor plan display is a fantastically easy way to manage your restaurant and we have a number of restaurants that are running their business completely and solely from this floor plan. So leading on from floor plans, we can now show you Swift Post reservations. To open up reservations, we simply hit the reservations button on the terminal, like so. We're presented with a reservations window that incorporates the floor plan. With floor plans, we can specify what floor plans are going to be showed on the reservations at what times of day. So if we're making a booking for a midday, the system will automatically pull in the midday floor plan, or the breakfast floor plan, or in this case, the evening floor plan. So let's, um, let's create a new booking. So we click Add. System gives us the option to either from here search for an existing customer or create a new customer. In this case, we're going to create a new customer. Surname is going to be Smith. First name, Conrad. Phone number. Address. Okay, so once we've got the details that we're happy with for making the reservations, we simply hit enter. The system's telling us it's going to go and make a, a save a record of that customer, so in future when they do bookings, uh, we can actually search for them in the database. Okay. It's now asking us to specify the time that the, uh, the, the Smith party want to come in. So we're going to say that the Smith party is for four covers. Um, they're going to be arriving at 5 p.m. Automatically, our base set for reservations is an hour and a half, uh, but we can change that again to to be a two-hour booking. Right, so we're happy with the 27th of October as being the reservations date, and we simply hit save reservation. Puts a prompt to confirm what we've done. Happy with that? We press OK. We can also pull up table uh, reports. So simply hit reports. Choose the date that you want to report on. 
and it will show us that these are the reservations that we have, some demo data there. But here we can see at 5pm we have four covers coming in for the Conrad Smith party. Okay, so we've shown you the key advantages of using Swift Boss Touch over Quest in a restaurant environment and some good reasons to upgrade. As well as all of those key features such as table splitting, split balances, reservations and floor plans, the Swift Boss system also manages um, changing entrees to mains, um, seat allocation, uh, we manage covers, we have detailed reporting on the covers that you're going through in your restaurant, average spend, etc. And with Swift Boss, we also have an extensive uh, amount of options in kitchen printing. So we can now satisfy all of the demands from all different types of chefs and kitchen scenarios with Swift Boss. So thanks for watching. Again, if you need a uh, personal presentation, feel free to give us a call at ACR and come down to the pod zone at ACR and we'll take you through a presentation uh, specific for your business.